According to Charles Darwin, one of the strongest pieces of evidence favoring his theory of common descent was the remarkable similarity among animal embryos. In the late 1800s, German naturalist Ernst Haeckel produced drawings that seemed to confirm Darwin's claim. Ernst Haeckel was a, a German biologist and artist, a contemporary of uh, Darwin's, who, uh, among other things, made some famous drawings of vertebrate embryos, uh, fish, humans, salamanders, chicks, turtles, and so on. And in those drawings, Haeckel tried to show that all these different vertebrates look very much the same as early embryos. Their early similarities showed that they came from a common ancestor, and differences arose only later. The problem is that he faked his drawings. The early vertebrate embryos don't really look that similar at all. The problem with Haeckel's drawings wasn't just that they were inaccurate, they were actually false in many cases. Uh, but the real damage was done when these drawings entered into biology textbooks decades ago and they've never really been taken out. If you open a high school biology text now or even a college biology text, you'll find these drawings, although they may not refer to them as Haeckel's drawings, and in fact, they trace their ancestry directly to Haeckel. You see the pictures of the embryos. And it's really kind of damaged our understanding of, of development and our understanding of biology in general. It's clear that, that Haeckel may have fudged his drawings somewhat to look more like his ideal than they actually are. Now, does that actually take away from what we know about the relationship of embryology to evolution? Not a bit. The whole Haeckel's embryo story has been greatly blown out of significance. Uh, it is a minor footnote in the history of science, and actually it's been known for 10 or 15 years that Haeckel's embryos are not to be relied upon. The reason why the diagrams are reproduced is because they're um, easily available. Uh, there's no copyright on them. It's a, an easy way to, uh, to illustrate a point. And I would argue that the basic point that's being illustrated by those drawings is still accurate. The basic ideas that Haeckel was presenting, for example, that the more closely related two forms were, the more recently they shared a common ancestor, the more similar will be their embryology. That has held up for decades, and we have nothing but solid evidence to support that from modern day researchers as well as early 20th century researchers. A second point that Haeckel made, that within, with, within two closely related forms, earlier stages will be more similar than late stages. That has been held up over and over as well. But if you go back earlier in development, the different classes of vertebrates look even more different. According to Wells, Haeckel, and many modern textbooks, mislead students not just because of faked drawings, but because they leave out the earliest stages of embryonic development. What students are shown as the first stage of embryonic development is actually the mid-stage. And very few textbooks show those earliest stages, and yet that's the whole point. It's the earliest stages that are supposed to be the most similar, and they're not. Some textbooks actually use photographs of embryos, but they pick only that stage and those classes that happen to look most similar. And they omit the earlier stages, and they omit those classes that don't look similar. So that, to me, is uh, picking the evidence very carefully to support the theory, and that's not good science.